asked uh, uh, Howie Carr to stay here with us to talk about the reports this morning out of Boston mm -hmm. linking the Tsarnaev brothers and the uh, social media mastermind of ISIS who just really got into the news last Friday. All to the same mosque. That's right, the yeah. same mosque. So let's uh, let's get back to Boston and the very patient uh, Mr. Carr. Howie, we appreciate you Skyping in again. And uh, again, we want to revisit this. You say this story is just developing. Uh, the mosque in question, uh, has it launched a, a, a PR campaign through the years or has there been an indulgence on the part of the left-leaning, multicultural, uh, uh, ruling, governing class in Boston and Massachusetts to, quote, understand and empathize uh, with their situation? Yeah, all, all of the above, uh, JB. It, it, the, uh, the, the fact is, though, when, uh, when the bombing took place, there were, there were a number of people from the mosque who stepped forward, and, uh, and apparently what got uh, Tamerlane thrown out of the, uh, Tamerlane Sarnia, the brother who's now dead, we call him Speed Bob because his brother ran over him, apparently he got tossed out of the mall because uh, uh, the previous year he had gone to a, a nearby grocery store that was run by a Muslim, and the guy was selling, you know, Thanksgiving turkey special and all this stuff, and uh, Tamerlan, Tamerlane walked in and said, uh, brother, we don't uh, believe in uh, Thanksgiving. That's not our, that's not one of our holidays, and the guy, the, the guy who was also a member of the mosque said, what do you mean? I mean, we're thanking God, uh, you know, for our blessings, you know, this is not like a, uh, this is not, this is not a, a sectarian holiday, and uh, apparently there was a big big beef and he ended up getting thrown out of the mall the the interest at uh, the mosque i should say the the interesting thing about this is that uh, this this guy uh, abu samra who was uh, now uh, connected to isis apparently he was very tight with a guy named uh, tariq mahana who was also another member of the mosque and like uh, like uh, abu samra his father was a was a professor at one of the uh, local uh, local medical school slash pharmacy schools and Tariq Mahana was a was a was a pharmacy student and he was planning to blow up the Natick mall and uh, act in, in another irony of what a small place this is the Natick mall was where the Sarnia brothers mother was arrested for uh, shoplifting and there's still an outstanding warrant on her for the, her shoplifting exploits at the Natick Mall but Tayrock Mahana wanted to blow up the Natick Mall and then uh, shoot shoot passer shoot uh, shoppers and then as the first responders arrived he he was going to shoot him as well and uh, Abu Samra was apparently a good friend of his and I, I'm not I'm still not clear exactly how he got out of the country uh, Tariq Mahana is is now doing 17 years uh, for his role in in trying to set this thing up. He he was uh, he was turned in by an undercover agent that he was trying to buy explosives from, and I know there were a lot of a lot of uh, local Muslims. I don't know if they were from this mosque or not, but they turned out when he was sentenced at at, at federal court in Boston, and uh, they said, oh, he was being framed, and he was just a poor misguided youth, and he deserved to get probation, et cetera, et cetera. The judge disagreed, gave him 17 years, which which means he'll do about 15. And this is Abu Abu Samra's buddy, and but he hung out with him before he he took the plane to, to Syria. I'm surprised he escaped from the, from Boston, actually. How, how is the Muslim community in Boston responding to this news? Well, yesterday yesterday was the first, first real major mention of it. I assume they'll be out today uh, trying to, uh, trying to again say that uh, the, these are only a handful of people and that there's, there's, uh, the, the, you know, you can't uh, judge a, uh, you, you can't judge a whole group by, uh, by a handful. But a, as you can see from the New York Post story, I mean, this is, this is more than a handful of people were, were involved in this mosque. And again, they, they, uh, there, there are other people that, that were on sort of the fringes of the uh, Sarnia group who didn't go to this mall? Who went to went to another mall? There's this uh, there's this cab driver down in Quincy who who took the uh, Sarniev brothers out to eat on the uh, treated them to dinner on the night of the bombing of the Boston Marathon Patriots Day 2013, and uh, he he went to the to the mall. Uh, he he the mall, I saw him keep saying mall. He went to the mosques in uh, Boston and on the South Shore. And this is a guy who has a very mysterious background. He's currently being held without bail. 
but he is a, he was a cab driver and yet somehow he was able to ship out uh, o- over a hundred thousand dollars in cash to uh, to these various mid-eastern countries while he was working allegedly as a cab driver in Quincy and uh, they, there are a lot of unanswered questions about him as well this uh, this place just uh, th- this place just seems to be a real hotbed of, uh, of of terrorism and you know there were some there were some who were involved uh, that were who were allegedly involved with the with the guy who was uh, from New Haven the Pakistani who wanted to uh, bomb Times Square on a Saturday afternoon uh, going they put a car bomb in front of the theater where the Lion King was playing to to create a uh, to create a massacre of, uh, of young American children. That's uh, those uh, those guys were operating out of Brookline, which is right next door to, to Boston. Howie, in light of this just coming out now, for, first off, why do you think it's taken so long? And do you think more people are going to be like investigated upon in light of what's just happened? And how we only have about a minute here. I think there's definitely going to be more uh, more people dragged into this. Uh, as you know, one of the uh, one of uh, 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 Jokar Sarniev's uh, co-conspirators down at UMass Dartmouth just pleaded guilty recently to to uh, helping uh, helping obstruct justice. Now he will become a witness in the trial of uh, of, of the Joker. Uh, whenever whenever and wherever that takes place, they're asking for another years uh, years. Uh, delay in the trial, and they want the they want the, the venue moved to Washington D.C. But yeah, I think there's going to be a lot more coming out as they. This is going to be like a, a traditional criminal investigation. You move up the ladder, you get them to plead guilty, and then you you, you move to the next uh, to the next rung. Howie Carr, as always, we appreciate your insights and uh, a whole lot of information coming out from Boston with these curious associations. Thanks so much. You just heard from Howie. What's your point of view about this? Why don't you tweet us your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum.